Hi hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, let's close that. Uh, unfortunately, that's the annoying thing about this platform that we are going to use for making our Forex robots. There's going to be these adverts. So if you probably want to try it, you can actually use ad blockers so that these ad, uh, adverts don't interfere uh, with your work but i guess that's why this platform is for free because they've got these adverts that they have in front of you so that's how they manage to keep this platform for free so uh if you watched uh the previous uh, video i showed you how to easily make a forex robot a moving average crossover uh, forex robot without any coding skills required for mt5 but some guy said uh, i should probably uh, redo the video because i did not explain really what was going on because i uh, i had little time so yeah so uh, let's get into how do you use this platform to create your own forex robots you don't need to pay anybody you just need a good strategy especially a good strategy based on indicators that's what you need a mechanical uh, uh, trading strategy that's what you need to have then you can come here and you can actually turn that strategy into a forex robot which you can sell to your friends which you can uh, make money with whatever you choose to do basically it's up to you so let's get into it so we are going to create a simple moving average crossover forex robot how do we do that so if you come to this platform called forexeadvisor.com and the home page this will be the home page so from the home page you then need to decide do you want to create for mt4 or for mt5 and they've got some documentation there to help you going through how you can actually what create uh robots with their platform but you don't need to sign up you don't need to pay anything you just need uh, an internet connection to come to this platform so now the uh, everybody seems to be moving to uh, mt5 so i will click on ea builder for mt5 this is for mt4 this is for mt5 so i will click on that and it's going to bring me to this page this is where i'm going to actually start working on my what forex robot and i said it's going to be a crossover moving average crossover robot so this is where you set the conditions for a buy this is where you set the conditions for a sell this is where you set the conditions for closing the buy which is obviously technically the same conditions that we use to open a sale should be the same conditions that must tell the robot that it's time to what to close the buy and the same thing how to close a sell the moment the open buy conditions appear it means let's close the cell that has been opened so it's very simple actually uh, i mean the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to come here where it says select here you can select indicators or conditions that you want uh, the robot to use unfortunately unlike fx streamer unfortunately they kind of have a limited number of indicators and conditions but anyway again is it's free it's for free so i'm not complaining much and i don't think uh, anybody uh, should be complaining it's for free so we are going to go to moving average because we are going to do a moving average crossover robot so it brings up this page then on time frame you can use current so whatever time frame that you place the robot on is going to use the time frame or you can choose whatever time frame that you want the robot to specifically use but i'll just keep it at current then period now period is now uh, this will be for the faster moving average this will be for the slower moving average so for the faster moving average i will just use a one and for shift i will just use a zero and 
moving average type here there's a simple moving average exp uh, exponential moving average i think this is smooth moving average or something and this is line weighted moving average you decide what your strategy is going to use for now i'm just going to use exponential which is faster than uh, uh, simple and smooth so i'll just uh, use uh, exponential there and price you can decide what kind of uh price of, uh, uh setting you want i will use close because i want when the candle closes it takes that into account as it prints uh, the exponential moving averages so i will click on close again shift i'll use a zero if you hear a track behind uh on the mic uh apologies the moment you start recording a video then everybody starts making noises i, I mean i don't know i don't know why people do that but anyway and now we are going to set the conditions uh for the slow moving average here we can set greater or lesser or equal to so we are going to say for a buy we want our moving average one to be above this moving average you can use whatever uh, setting for moving average that you want i will just use three and shift again zero type again ema you can choose whatever you want price again close shift again zero so as simple as that we now have the basics of uh, an open buy condition for our robot here the button that says add you can actually add more conditions if you are trying to filter out a bad uh, trades you can actually continue adding what more conditions uh, so you first need to uh, sort this one out before you continue adding more rules so i'll just say remove there then for a cell we want this opposite we want the opposite of this to happen to open a cell so i'll go to open a cell uh, maybe this uh, strategy will work best on five minute time frame or one minute time frame or uh, those lesser time frames uh, i don't know so one should be uh, below one should be below three then uh, we know it's a condition for a cell so still using uh, current time frame shift zero exponential moving average a uh, close if i'm talking too fast or if i'm moving too fast from now on uh, you can just rewind the video and uh, watch again and see what i'm doing but uh, really it's not that hard I, uh, for me at least it's not that hard but anyway so this is conditions for opening a cell so we are going to use this same condition to close any buys so uh, let's say the, uh, the the robot is trading it has got some buys we want the robot the moment it notices uh, sell conditions to close the buys and open the sales that's what i'm talking about so we are going to use the same conditions for opening a sale to close the buys so again i'm just going to try to be quick here i believe you are getting the idea you are getting the idea and a close and zero and i'll do that and again go to moving average and set three and zero and ema and close and zero that's uh, to close buys to close any sales we are going to use the same conditions that we use for a buy so whenever a buy condition appears it means we must close any sales so we use the same condition so to close a sale we are going to use moving average again you can still use any other conditions that you want if you want to close the sales using other uh, conditions i'm just uh, using uh, the simplest way or the most straightforward way which is if this opposite of this happens then it means do this if the opposite of this happens it means do this so that's all that you need to do with, uh, with really here so opening a buy, a buy opening a sale closing that buy closing that sale that's all that you need to do here and again if you have another complex strategy that you want to work on you can always use this button add to add more conditions to filter out so that you only have the cream of the trades then 
we go to the next tab which is options now here you can uh, use uh, you can set a magic number what is a magic number a magic number is like an id where for the robot maybe you are using several robots and you are going to want that robot to what to manage its trade for example here the stop loss take profit trailing stop how does the robot know that these are my trades and these ones are the ro the other trades that were placed by another robot that you were running or maybe you placed the other trades manually it's going to know its own trades using the magic number so you can set a magic number there so that the robot is able to identify its particular trades so that it's able to manage stop loss take profit and and all this then uh lot size you can use the lot size allowed by your broker uh depending on the account size my broker allows 0 0.10 is the minimum some brokers allow 0 0.01 again it's up to you so you can actually use this robot to also trade because it's a meta trader 5 robot you can use it to trade a vix uh, 75 uh, so vix 75 i think it's going to be 0 0.001 i think so the minimum uh, lot size uh, is 0 0.05 something like that but anyway uh, maybe you want to use this robot to trade volatility 75 uh, index uh, you can do that then stop loss wise now you need to decide how many pips you want for the stop loss again for example if you're going to go the fix 75 route it's not going to be 50 because if it's 50 it's going to be too tight but if it's forex it's fine you can use uh, 50 lot size and take profit take profit again if you're in forex uh f you can you do maybe a one or one is to two i usually prefer one is to two with my trades uh, or you can bring uh, this down to there if you think that's too much and you say one is to two there trailing stop when you start making some money and you want to protect yourself you can decide if you don't want a trailing stop you can use a zero it says use zero to disturb uh, trailing stop so that's how you would work here with the options section then after this you come to the final section which is uh, expert advisor code this is where you're actually going to get the code for your robot so what's going to happen is it should uh, generate let's click on generate mql5 code so what you're going to get is MQ, an mql5 file i've done a video already on this channel about how to use mql5 and mql4 files with your metatrader 4 and your metatrader 5 look for that video or even just check on youtube or online how to use mql5 because these are the source code files so you can simply plug them into your metatrader 4 and compile them and make them uh, into dot e uh, dot is it ex5 or ex4 file files that you can use with your trading or you can still use the mq5 uh, but if you want to share the robot with your friends and you don't want them to see the soup the ingredients that you have behind the scenes you can say you can send them a dot ex4 or d or dot x5 uh file so look for those videos or ask uh, on youtube how to uh, uh convert mq5 or mq4 uh, files if you don't want to watch my videos now in this section you can name the ea whatever you want to name it uh today is monday so I can say Monday EA M T five. It's just a random name. You can name your robot whatever you want to name it. So after that you you can even change some of these details when you actually download the source code and you can change the copyright, you can change whatever whatever in here so that the robot is truly truly under your name. Then after that you cannot just come here and you click save when you click save it's going to save your robot to your computer it's going to download your robot your source code 
to your computer then again you have to load that mql4 or mql5 source code to your metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 and convert it into a working robot so i'll just click save downloading done so that you need to make a robot guys you uh, of course if you want to go into the deeper side of things you can come and join us uh in learning metatrader 5 i'm, I'm currently studying a lot of uh metatrader 5 because yeah i want to shift from metatrader 4 most of my stuff has been in metatrader 4 now i want to make the switch to metatrader 5 because i don't know when metatrader is going to stop uh metatrader 4 because they've been pushing and pushing metatrader 5 so i want to just uh shift to metatrader 5 but otherwise guys like the video leave your comments in the comment section below the broker that i use see the links in the description box below guys i will see you in the next one